Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Hi guys, Thank and welcome you. to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the forehand. And I want to show you an ending to the forehand, which if you can apply it to your game, will make your forehand much safer for you and way more dangerous for your opponent. Now, it amazes me that in today's modern game, we still get coaching where people are telling you to swing from low to high, from low to high, brushing up the ball and finishing high over the shoulder. Now, to really affect the ball, to really shape the ball, make it swerve through the air so that you can control it with spin and racket speed, then it's essential that the racket is accelerating through contact. And if it's accelerating through contact, it needs to be traveling a long way after contact before it slows down and ends. Yet a lot of coaches teach the low to high motion where the player finishes in this area here. But this high finish is fine for beginners, but what it means is almost certainly is that through contact here, I was either neutral at best, unlikely, or I was already decelerating to make this finish. So to reference this, let's look at it really simply. Let's look at the hand and the elbow. With this traditional stroke, the hand finishes above the elbow. But what would happen if the hand finished below the elbow? And now, below the elbow. Let's listen to the stroke above the elbow and below the elbow. Above the elbow and below the elbow. And now let's have a look at what will happen to the ball. If I make the stroke where I finish with the hand above the elbow, then the ball is going to be launched flat and high. But if I make the stroke where the hand finishes below the elbow, then naturally the ball is going to arc and spin into the court. We're going to shape the ball. We're going to affect it. By affecting the shape of the ball, you get much more control and you can swing harder and still feel safer. You can see, hear, and feel the difference between the two strokes. If I make the classic stroke where the hand finishes above the elbow, which is still being taught both online and on court all over the world, hand finishes high and I have control, but the ball was slow. And now the hand finishes low, the ball is much faster, much higher in the bounce, taking it outside of my opponent's hitting zone, and the faster I swing, the safer the stroke becomes. So make sure when you next play that your hand finishes below the elbow. The elbow's high, the hand is low. And you'll find that you have more control, more power, more spin. Quite simply, your forehand becomes a problem for your opponents and not a problem for you. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works for you or the players that you work with. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification icon. It makes a big difference to us as we try to make a complicated game as simple as possible. If you need more help with your game, have a look at what we can do with online coaching. We're helping players of all ages, all levels, all over the world with video analysis, with personalized training plans, and we're helping them with the mental side of the game. If you find that your practice play is much better than your match play, then talk to us and see if we can help. But for today's session, make sure that you finish with the elbow high and the hand low, and you will have more power, spin, speed, and control in your forehand. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.